Today, 38% of sellers are members of Gen X and the majority at 63% are listing a home for the very first time. Of those listing a home for sale, 26% had a job change, 24% had a shift in financial circumstances, 16% are retired or had another life change, such as the birth of a child, marriage, divorce, or becoming an empty nester. Most sellers are trading their homes for one they perceive as an upgrade. The average is seeking 100 more square feet and a home that costs about 11% more than their current home's value. So here are a few of the stats on the sellers. Number one, 30% of sellers' top regrets was not enough time to prepare for the sale. Women take an average of 5.9 months before listing their home, whereas men are just a little bit quicker, 4.6, I guess we're more impulsive. Number two, 88% use an agent to sell their home. Number three, millennial sellers are just as likely as older generations to use an agent for sale. However, they're more likely to scrutinize, collaborate with social media, online reviews, friends, and family. Number four, 50% of sellers look to their agents for pricing advice and 35% for contract negotiation. Millennials tend to rely on their agent for legal advice as well as the best time to sell their home for sale. Number five, 83% of sellers make home renovations before listing. Most commonly, 45% paint and 31% renovate the bathroom. Number six, when marketing their homes, millennials are much more likely to expect the use of video and social media. Number seven, 66% of sellers adjust their listing price at least once, so don't be afraid to do the adjustment. 39% change the listing price actually two or more times. The younger the seller, the quicker the result that they expect. 52% of sellers are first time home sellers and 47% are repeat sellers they've sold before. But regardless, the majority indicated that putting their home on the market was a challenging and kind of scary process. Their ability to get their desired sales price can have a major impact on the financing of the next home that they go to purchase. Now for Minding Your Own Business. We all know by now that 87% of buyers and sellers utilize the internet for information, research, and house shopping before they even contact an agent. Most of the younger generations, Gen X and Millennials, consider three agents before making a decision. So how do you differentiate yourself from the other agents out there? One suggestion is to provide that human touch that the internet and cell phones just can't provide. Listen, really utilize your in-person time to get to know your clients, their needs, desires, and then you can strengthen that relationship through technology. It really matters. They want to know that you care make the experience fun and personalize it for them. This is going to go a long way with the 25 to 40 somethings. Communicate with them very often. If they're calling you every other day, then you know that's how often they want to hear from you. Knowing how to differentiate yourself from the pack should help you land those buyers and sellers. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Have a great day.